All right, so this is a video that I felt I had to make after uh, the decisions that I've come to over the past couple of days, really. But some of this stuff has been playing on my mind for weeks now. And um, I felt that my subscribers, and more specifically the people involved with me with the old Sodcast the live stream that I do every fortnight deserved an explanation and all the regular viewers of that deserved it as well. So as you'll know by now the old Sodcast which would have been happening live at 8pm tonight has been cancelled until further notice and I've also made the decision that the series itself is going to be put on hiatus, is going to be put on ice for the foreseeable future. I'm sorry, but I can't give a date as to when I might want to start again. And I'll try and get into the reasons why. Um, but to kind of cut a long story short, and you'll hear the long story, no doubt, anyway, I'm going to try and keep things as concise as I can. But please bear with me because I do have a lot on my mind and I need to get it off my chest. So if it takes a while, then I appreciate you bearing with me in this video. But I'm putting the Sodcast series, the live streaming, on hold for the foreseeable future. I don't want to say it's forever. Hopefully at some point down the line I'm going to wake up and think, wow, I'm really keen to get this going again. But... I'm burnt out with it, I really am. And I'm burnt out with the whole general live streaming thing that has kind of taken over the vinyl community on YouTube, but I'll get onto that more later on, as that's something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now, and with me just filling people in about the Sodcast and about my personal live streaming. I figured I could give my opinions on the live stream scene in general later on. So, first off, I want to say thank you to everyone who has ever watched the old Sodcast, be it regularly or just once or now and again, and has shown an interest in it. That really means the world to me. Um, and... For the most part, for almost all of it in fact, I can't say most, I've got to say pretty much all of it, has been enjoyable in the moment. But the thing is, I get burnt out on live streaming really easily. Even though it's only a once a fortnight thing, and as we know, there's channels that do it once a week, there's channels that do it once a day, literally seven days a week for three hours a day. Um... And they're all different, it's different formats, different things to talk about, etc, etc. For me, the Sodcast was always something where I'd have a topic in mind, and then we'd have two weeks to kind of, you know, think about it, do any preparation that we needed to do. And I've enjoyed them all, I really have. Um, I also want to say massive thanks to the co-panellists who've been with me, Jason Clo, not suitable for mum from the beginning. It was him really who encouraged me to get the Sodcast going again the last time I took a long break. Jason, thank you so much for, you know, just being really supportive and more importantly for your friendship. Um, and also in more recent times I've been joined um, on the panel by Ian at Ranking the Obscure. Ian, uh, I feel that you're a true friend, Name, and I appreciate all your interest in the show and your interest in the channel and your knowledge and your input that you've been providing since you became a regular fixture on Sunday nights. And even more recently, Simon, aka Vinyl Dale or Digital Dale, um, has been a panellist at times as well. And we had Nick's Vinyl Butty as a guest panellist for the two-tone stream a couple of months ago as well. Thank you to all you people. I consider you friends. Um, I've got to know them primarily through like Ian's live streaming on Thursday, uh, Simon's on Friday, um, 
but you know I've been subscribing to a lot of these people prior anyway before I even kind of dip my toe back in the live show waters as it were um so yeah I need to give it a break really and just focus on my normal YouTube content now thank you everyone who enjoys that and watches whatever videos that I put out I know people don't watch them all because they can differ and I'm not strictly a pure VC channel I do still consider myself a variety channel even though vinyl community and music related stuff is what you know 90 to 95 percent of it now here on the channel um but I do put a lot of work into what I do on YouTube I work bloody hard on it I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and try and downplay it and if it makes me look kind of you know a bit sort of self-satisfied then you know sorry but I do I work bloody hard on what I do um just in July alone I've got so much scheduled you know July's pretty much accounted for really and it's a lot of work and it is tiring but I do thrive on that the live streaming the sodcast and other people's streams that I appear on or that I go in the chat for that kind of takes away from my energy for what I really want to do and what the original purpose of the Jimmy Barnes YouTube channel was and that was to make quality videos pre-recorded videos of me showing my collection you know Funko Pops was a long a thing of mine for a long time uh, in more recent years it's predominantly been vinyl records and anything music related obviously um, and and I'll talk more about it shortly but the live streams they kind of become more of a hindrance to my progress and even my kind of mental health really and well-being I'm not saying that like I'm really depressed over anything that's happened on YouTube or, or over any decision that I may or may not have made because I'm not but I am a diagnosed clinical depressive and also diagnosed with anxiety and Asperger's syndrome and also I believe that I have an undiagnosed bipolar disorder as well now I'm not saying that for sympathy, I'm not. I feel fine, I've been taking medication for many years, um, I deal with my depression and anxiety and I deal with all the quirks that I have going on in my head and all my social sort of neuroses and things relating to Asperger's syndrome um, my you know mild form of autism high functioning autism they call it now um, that's all fine that's not what this is about um, I've been dealing with those before I even did YouTube as kind of like a full-time thing and I'll be dealing with them till the day I die basically and that's just something that I accept and that is just me it's, they're all part of me it's what makes me me <laughs> say me a lot um i'm not looking for people to go oh well you know you oh you're so brave for you know talking about it i'm just kind of explaining that so that kind of the way i've maybe behaved towards other people might be put in a bit better context really and that you might have more understanding about why i want to stop doing certain things relating to youtube and live shows and my opinions on other aspects of other people's live streams as well um so yeah basically that's why the old sodcast is going away for at least a while i'm gonna say now it'll be a temporary break but the bad news is i can't say when i want to bring it back because i'll only know that when i want to bring it back you know when i wake up one morning and think you know what, I want to do live streaming again, I want to do the sodcast, or I want to appear on Ian's, or I want to do Simon's, or whatever, really. So, to that effect, 
I'm also not going to be involved in the Ranking the Obscure Thursday night streams and the Digital Dale Friday night streams for the foreseeable future either. Um, largely for the same reasons, but also for slightly different reasons as well. Um, Ian's is every week. And I urge you, those of you who aren't familiar, please support these people. They're friends of mine, you know, they're great guys. And I'm really, really honoured that Ian especially kind of take, took me to the bosom of the RTO family, really, when I decided, probably the, the first time was late last year, I think, to just go up on the panel and just kind of be a part of someone else's live stream because believe it or not I'd not really done anything like that before I'd hosted my own loads of times but I'd never really been a part of someone else's and just been like a guest you know and it was it was good it was a different way of doing things um but even then you know with all the kind of you know feeling that YouTube is kind of a performative thing for me and I've always felt that way. And when I used to do Periscope, which is an old live streaming platform, you know, it was a Twitter related thing that closed down some years ago. And I used to be sort of quite active on that, maybe a decade or so back. Um, even then, I always felt, you know, I needed to sort of heighten my energy on Periscope, much like I do on YouTube for both live and pre recorded stuff, as. You need to, really, in my opinion, you know, if you're just going to come on and treat the thing like a kind of, you know, FaceTime call with your nan or something like that, then you're going to look low energy. It's not going to be a very interesting video. And, you know, maybe some of mine have turned out like that in the past. Um, you know, sometimes my mood and my energy levels are higher or lower, depending on, you know, external circumstances when I'm about to film something. So... Um, but to get back to um, my decision regarding others' live streams, it's only Ian's and Simon's who I'm a part of, really, in relation to being in the chat, and also I was made uh, channel moderator for them as well. Um, I was on Ian's last Thursday. I, well, I wasn't on his. I was in the chat, um, and I was... I, it was a really good stream, to be fair. I enjoyed it, but I think the reason I enjoyed it is because I was just in the chat. I didn't need to go up on screen. I wasn't on the panel, you know, the guests. Um, and I was just sort of cracking wise. Now, the trouble with that is, I mean, my sense of humour, um, no one really needs to tell me. It's kind of, you know, not always to everyone's taste. And... I was probably making jokes that I don't think were offensive to anyone, but you know there were some remarks directed at certain people, and they may not have taken them in the spirit in which they were intended. Um, but I felt I was contributing better to that Thursday night show that Ian and Mastermind Dave. I want to give a shout out to Dave as well, lovely chap. Um, thank you for everything that you do. Um, I felt that I was better served in the chat that evening because I'd got nothing that I wanted to say being a panellist, you know, I'd got, I didn't want to get involved in the weekly discussion, the animals thing, uh, you'll understand if you go back and watch some of Ian's. Um, I didn't have the time or the impetus to want to get involved in that that week, but I was happy to spend, you know, two, nearly two and a half hours in Ian's chat there and um, it was fun for me but you know afterwards apparently um, and no one's telling tales out of school here by the way um, you know no one mentioned any specific names or anything but just I, I learned that apparently people were concerned about my well-being because I think you know in the context of the chat room the comment section whatever you'd call it in a live show my remarks and quips and jokes and comments were maybe seen as a little bit odd or out of character, which for me they weren't, and like I say, my sense of humour can be pretty dark at times. I wasn't making any kind of dark or sort of awful, awfully sort of black-humoured jokes. It was, 
you know, I was just having fun, really, um, in the way that I felt I could have fun that evening. To anyone who was on that panel who may have been bemused by it, perplexed, or even, I don't think anyone was offended, per se, but anyone was kind of wondering, oh, is Jimmy all right? You know, you know where to find me. I'm not going to apologise for anything that I said, because I know for a fact, hand on heart, that I didn't say anything that was downright insulting or offensive about anyone. And if you felt that I did, then you can come to me and we can have a private conversation. And I've had private conversations today, this day that I'm recording this, with Jason, my longtime friend and Sodcast co-host, and he's also a regular now on Ian's, and Ian himself. And... Um, I've just told these guys, because they're the two guys who obviously have been with me on my sort of sodcast journey the most, I've told them that I need this break, um, but also with Ian, I want to sort of explain why he won't be seeing me on his shows for a little while at least, there again, I'm not going to say it's got to be forever, um, but if I'm going to make a sort of clean break of live streaming then I need to sort of go full cold turkey. I don't just want to stop doing the sodcast, but then be dipping into Ian's and Simon's also, Digital Dales on Fridays. Um, I'm stopping that as well for the same sort of reasons, really. Sometimes I just like to be in the chat. Sometimes I like to be up on the panel. So I'm just ignoring live streams, pretending like none of them exist uh, for however long it takes until I suddenly think you know YouTube live streaming is actually quite a worthwhile pursuit because at the moment and that this is not a slight on Ian Simon or indeed anyone else out there in the multitude of YouTube live streamers that there is I'm I'm not saying that people are doing things wrong or doing things bad or doing things that I wouldn't do. You know, everyone has their own format and their own style and what they want to talk about. Um, some of it is problematic to me, and that's why I want to address that, but that's something I've been thinking about making a video about for a little while now. It just so happens that with my decision to cancel the Sodcast for a while and also to stop appearing on other people's lives, then um, I thought I'd tag that bit on to this video really as it's all related to live streaming on YouTube and the vinyl community of course. So my thoughts on vinyl community live streams in general is it's a mixed bag to start with you know I'm putting that caveat that disclaimer out there anyway I'm personally only involved, apart from my own, with two others, Ian's and Simon's. They're the ones that I can moderate on in the chat and that I've also appeared, you know, live on screen, on camera as a panellist. Um, but I do bear witness to certain other live streams, not necessarily while they're going on, although, you know, one or two I kind of dip in and out of. Um, as they happen in live, but other ones that I only sort of know from after the fact with all gossip that people have been talking about them. Um, the vinyl community obviously is the hashtag, the umbrella term um, for rightly or for wrongly that music fans on YouTube use. Um, I'm happy using the vinyl community hashtag um, I'll be using it in the title of this video, no doubt. Um, the live streams that supposedly are VC related, that I uh, have at least second hand, if not first hand experience of, some of them, they've got so little to do with music. It's all about drama. It's all about who's falling out with who, who said this about that person. He said, she said, bullshit, you know. Um, you know, a lot of you watching all know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just kind of never-ending, really. I will mention her because, 
you know, it's just a respectful thing, really. I don't want to sort of talk about someone and just drop hints, and then it looks like I'm kind of being snide because I'm talking about them but not mentioning them. But Rachel of Rachel's Ghost is probably the most prominent vinyl community live streamer that there is. She does her three-hour show every 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 day, uh, seven days a week, pretty much all the time. Um. But it's mostly a drama stream, and I think Rachel. We've talked privately about this. I've not been involved in Rachel's only up to being in the chat occasionally, and you know, kind of cracking wise and saying hello and things like that, and kind of rubbernecking, being nosy, seeing what's going on, and even that kind of thing. I think's become unhealthy for me personally. I think it's certainly unhealthy for a lot of people who are more directly involved as well. You know, I just want to sort of just have a clean break from all of it, all the drama, all the trolling that's associated, and I've been hit, affected by it as well. Rachel and I had a falling out uh, a couple of months ago now um, over a misunderstanding. We sorted it out a couple of days later. We had a private conversation. I was glad that we did. Um, but a lot of these troll accounts and sock accounts, alt accounts, and there's probably some what some of them watching. You know who you are, and I think you're worthless, and you're wasting your own time, not mine. You know because I can easily forget that you exist once I've kind of done this thing and moved on to what I'm doing next. But um, you know they started creating sock accounts with my name. And then when I was in streams like Ian's and Simon's, they were coming in, all these alt accounts, these trolls, and insulting me and things like that. And it's, you know, it's water off a duck's back to a large part, but it's just this sort of very small section, and thank God it is a small section, of the supposed VC who have little interest in actually discussing music talking about music, listening to music probably, you know, what they do in the spare time, I dread to think you know, they just spend all day like worrying about something someone said on Rachel's ghost, I think 24 hours a day these are just pathetic sad individuals really but how better of a person am I that I keep dipping my toe in and keep dipping my nose in and looking at what these people are saying about each other and you know be it the trolls to the Rachel's ghost regulars or vice versa I'm just bored of it all if I'm perfectly honest I just want it all to just go away and I think the only way it can go away for me is for me just to ignore it all just say I'm not going on any live streams you know so if these trolls turn up elsewhere in Ian's a uh, friend of mine and someone I support and will continue to support here on YouTube and Simon Ditto if they want to turn up in his then that's not going to be my problem anymore um, they'll always have their grudges against Rachel's ghost you know Rachel and I we disagree on most things I don't think there's much we agree on apart from the fact we both love the Beatles but I do respect her for the conversation that we had you know, I don't think we're ever going to be sort of the best of friends, um, you know, for a multitude of reasons, but, you know, we came to an understanding. A lot of the people who are vehemently anti-Rachel and just hate her and everything she stands for didn't like the fact that I just kind of kept the peace with her. And, you know, I've been sort of called an arse kisser and all that lot like, ever since, really. And that's fine, you know, that's that's the least of it really, it's just kind of like the whole kind of witnessing all this drama. There's another prominent VC live streamer, and I won't mention this person by name, I simply, I mentioned Rachel because I do know Rachel, I've spoke to her, She, we've known each other in this YouTube context for a couple of years or so now, whereas this other person... Um, I don't know him, well, I, I know of him, but I, he doesn't know me, we've never spoken, we've never chatted anywhere, but um, he did a stream a couple, uh, well, no, a few days ago, I think now, like an impromptu thing, 
and it was so difficult to watch towards the end I sort of only looked at a bit of it because there again everyone was gossiping about it that's what this VC thing is it's mainly gossip and tittle tattle and you know oh look at who did what and it's that's that's not what I got into it for you know I got into it for the music purely and the collecting music and the talking about music and the the love of it and the the love of collecting the passion of being into music um but this person he I won't go into details he did take his stream down that um really should have done it instantly uh, the fact it was left up for at least 24 hours might have even been close to 48 hours and it did eventually get taken down um i really felt for the bloke to be honest um you know i didn't really understand quite why he'd got himself into that state well i mean i understood that there was alcohol involved but i mean just generally his mindset you know not even relating to alcohol consumption that was happening during the broadcast um i think people know who i'm referring to but i'm not gonna you know sort of mention his name but just out of respect to the fact that he doesn't know me i don't know him well enough to kind of you know shout him out in this way and i'm not sort of bringing him up to mock him because there was nothing entertaining about that thing. There was nothing funny about it. If people did find any of that funny, then that just goes to show, you know, what sick mind some people have, really. Um, it was it was a difficult watch, and I, out of curiosity, like a lot of people, would have watched parts of that, skimmed through it, and um, the end of it was just bizarre. And, you know, that's something else that I, I don't want to ever get to that stage. I won't. I mean, I don't drink, for starters. I'm teetotal. So you're not going to see me suddenly, like, with a bottle of whiskey <laughs> on a YouTube video. And this has got tea in it, by the way. So, yeah, I just want to cut myself off from all that. Concentrate on YouTube, as in what I always believed YouTube to be. And that is pre-recorded edited videos the majority of them me on my own you know occasionally i've done collaborations and i've had guests like family members and things like that but you know basically it's this ugly mug i'm either sat here in my chair in the corner or i'm standing over there showing my records and whatever else um and i still love it you know this isn't one of these oh you're announcing your departure things because i wouldn't do that if i suddenly decided I wasn't doing YouTube per full stop then I would just stop doing it um the, I know, the only re way I'd make an, an announcement as if I was you know had some sort of illness or something like that but no I'm not stopping YouTube you know I'm, I'm continuing full throttle as I have been doing for years and intend to do for as long as I can um it's just the life stuff I need to distance myself from it for my mental health for the sake of my friends who, you know, co-panellists who I've had, you know, Ian's and, and in particular, who may be a little puzzled by the way I behave at times. And, you know, I may not have explained my behaviour and the way I do things and why I do certain things the way I do well enough in this video. But, you know, I hope you understand that you can come and talk to me. If you don't want to, then fine. I'm not twisting anyone's arm. People can reach out to me and I'll always reply. You know, um, certain people, I exchange emails with them regularly. Thank you for that. You know who you are. And it's so much appreciated. Um, and other people, you know, they know where to get me. I'm on all the social medias. I always flash my social media stuff up on the end screen of my videos. And uh, my email address is widely available as well. For anyone who just wants to have a conversation, it doesn't have to be about anything serious. They can just kind of, you know, check in and we can shoot the shit really and have a laugh. But uh, if people want to do that, that's lovely and I look forward to hearing from you. If you don't, then fine, you know, I'm not going to twist your arm about it. Uh, but if anyone does have a problem with anything that I've said or done, 
in any video live in the chat in the comments whatever and you know you're just kind of stewing on it then you know speak to me about it and I'll try and explain and we can hopefully reach an understanding but that's not just down to me it's down to you it's a two-way thing obviously um anything else that I want to say no that's pretty much it really so yeah VC live streams for me not about the music so much anymore it's all about the drama it's all about the trolling it's all about the gossip it's all about the he said she said bullshit that's a song lyric yeah there we go comment section again that that's a good way to keep in touch for a lot of people uh, anyone who's left me comments um, occasionally or semi-regularly or regularly thank you it's appreciated to know that you've been watching my videos and that you've watched enough and enjoyed enough or endured enough to leave a comment uh, don't think that stuff like that isn't appreciated because it really is it keeps me motivated to carry on creating content you're going to see a lot of stuff coming up in july it's a bit of a themed month in a way uh, not every single video but there's a lot of videos that are related to one particular thing but you'll see very shortly anyway within a matter of days what that theme is and there's loads of other stuff you know pertaining to records because that's what we talk about that's what i talk about anyway you know maybe i'm kind of like a traditionalist in the vinyl community now i'm all about talking about records and music and you know anything that's not very vinyl-y like um the feud between a certain mr waxed and a certain ms tomato that um, that might age this video quite badly actually because they might have kissed and made up by the time you're watching this uh, probably not but um, you never know um, hell could freeze over I suppose you know but that that's you know that's got fuck all to do with music it's got fuck all to do with my life certainly and I don't want any part of it anymore and if that means having a clean break not just from my own sodcast but from Ian's vinyl dales that's all i'm involved with really it's not like i'm kind of like one of these live stream addicts that's the thing with the live streaming it's easy content in it i mean it was i think michael ricefield records who said something similar to this uh, some time ago you know put yourself out there live it's like a kind of live entertainment thing it means you can just kind of let things happen as they happen and it's just easy instant content for one's channel for me youtube should be about putting a little bit or more than a little bit of work into it you know doing some planning you know being creative thinking things through ahead of time rather than just sort of you know pressing the go live button and just sitting there waiting for things to kick off it's not enjoyable for me it hasn't been for a very long time now so that's it really that's all i wanted to say um i know this video's gone on quite a while i figured it would believe it or not this is me in brief mode um but to save you any further kind of um sitting here looking at me just banging on um i will wrap this up as quickly as possible now but thank you everyone especially all of my subscribers and my patrons of course uh don't go anywhere because i'm not going anywhere i'm still around a big apology and love to all my friends on ian and simon's streams you know all the panelists and everyone i chat to on a weekly basis and um hopefully i've explained myself well enough there and uh, to all the people who have been involved with or watch the sodcast it's not a goodbye i'm sure it's a see you later and on that note i will see you later join me for my next video which will be out on the channel tomorrow cheers everyone see ya